Chana, your video is, uh, I assume it's doing well. Your AB10. Uh, it's okay. I mean, you know, it's whatever. Let's see, Let's see what's yeah. whatever's. 2,400? Yeah. That's all right. okay. Okay. It's all right. I mean, like, Zach hit me up and sent me a text. He's like, dude, great job. That video is awesome. I was like, oh, hey, no problem, man. Because uh, obviously he sent me the AV10, right? Yeah. And then I was just like, uh, I'll send you a vertical for your your Instagram and um, mm, like the reels, TikTok. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just I cut the um, intro out, and then mm. and then and then I added like Techno Dad, and I added a Dream Media logo, like in collaboration mm. with whatever, yeah. whatever. Um, but yeah, he's like he's like, man, I, we're working on this big project. How long did that video take? I'm like, uh, since the Marantz arrived, I've been shooting different parts of it. Mm -hmm. And then editing different parts. Yeah. And then finally yesterday, Sunday, got sat down and put it all together and shot the talking head part yesterday. You made a you even made a song for it. A new track. Yeah. Yeah. The intro that uh that like that uh like orchestral score type deal, I made that for the song. Nice. That's that 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 was actually what took longer <laughs> because I I was like, well, how do I what am I gonna do for the edit? Right. I'm like, uh, I'm like, oh, oh, let me let me try and make a song. And since I I showed you guys that little uh, software that I updated and whatever, dude, I got like strings in there, big old drums. And I did an unboxing in seven seconds. It was <clears throat> fantastic there or less than that. Like. So, so Aaron in the drum roll, I just did do, 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 like all the pieces that are in, in, in the receiver. It was dope. I was just like, oh, cause the unboxing is the most boring part of the damn video. Like I, what? I already know what it is. It's Odyssey mic, it's a remote, it's batteries, it's uh, a yeah. literature, antennas, cable labels, and a rocket ship, cardboard rocket ship. Like we already know. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I, you know what I liked is when you showed all the different configurations real quick, boom, 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 right after yeah. the other. Yeah, How that long took did a while that too. Take? <laughs> that that took a long time. Actually, you know what's funny? This little this little hydraulic desk thingy I got, it's perfect. I put this all the way up, mm -hmm. and then I just videotaped that mod this TV right <laughs> from here, and I was just like, oh, this thing is this thing is perfect. So, Chana, there's and, a uh, question that came in about that. Uh, about the amp 10 says how is the power consumption on five only 500 watts on that amp 10 oh the, I, I don't have the amp 10 i have the oh, AV10. Okay. oh that's this right you got AV10. my bad that's right that'd be just the amp of our yeah. my so, bad yeah what's up with the eight height channels how does that work <laughs> um somebody actually just commented saying that um the manual says you can run 7.4.8 mm -hmm. but i just tried it and i tried the up mixers and they're still they're still just you're capped at six mm -hmm. with uh, with Dolby and then uh, whatever the five is. For, so you can uh, you can plug in eight speakers. So what's the point? Well, well, here's the thing. Amp ten. So so you can plug in seventeen speakers here, but the amp is only sixteen speaker input. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that about? <laughs> like, like I was just, I was kind of laughing about it with somebody else who, who commented. And he's like, that makes no sense at all. Yeah, no, it doesn't. You can plug in 17 speakers, but the amp that comes, that's a matching pair, 16 channels. Yeah. There you, there you go. That makes it. Let's just make, just, yeah, why not? <laughs> so what, what do you got to do? You got to put a little XLR splitter and just little press a button <laughs> like over by the thing. <laughs> So, so the whole point right. of the eight channels, though, is for what? Like, I, yeah. So I'm you can plug them all in. So you can I would plug think them so all in for... when it switches between the different formats, right? Yeah. For Oro 3D, for DTSX, for yeah. Dolby, well, it's, and it's, that it's way. It's mainly just to go to Oro 3D to access the center height, which would mm -hmm. be like something up there, right? And okay. then, and then the voice of God. Right. So you have it all connected and ready to go. So instead of doing two presets, I see. You can have preset one, mm -hmm. and then you just. You just turn on Oro 3D, and then it'll it'll send the signal. I'll reroute to it. So I there's a on the back on the back. There's height one, height two, height three, <laughs> and then height four. Mm -hmm. What happened? Well, that's funny. True voice oh. or reason. He said it's like eight buns and ten dogs. What the heck is up with that? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I am just like Steve Martin. I what that's are you hilarious. doing? I'm I'm right. removing the superfluous buns. <laughs> From the package. I just right. throw them in the garbage, man. Nobody's gonna eat those. 
<laughs> They'll be stale by the next time you eat the next batch of hot dogs. That's yeah. funny, man. Um, I love it. For 7000 for the amp, they could have made it yeah, integrate sure. um, to have multiple inputs and, and auto map to multiple apps. That, yeah. You know? So yeah. seven Gs. No. And I saw a question, a comment on your video <laughs> that asked, could you hear a difference? Was there better separation? Is there anything magical happening? What's I mean, the pre-pro. I had I had a fifteen hundred dollar Pioneer in there before using the same amplifier. Mm -hmm. Other than just me doing the manual calibration, I you know I don't, Nothing? I don't hear any difference. I I'll also I only listen to like a little bit of Transformers, one of the action scenes, and mm -hmm. then. Um, Cause I'm redoing my Zapiti mm -hmm. and 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 oh, I got, oh, oh, oh you got oh, some new hard drives? Oh, it's get it's get getting heavy. Oh my it's getting heavy. I was on the phone with Paul for a while and I was trying to get this up and running, but it's gonna take a little bit longer than but I did get these two. These are on sale, by the way, you guys. 20 terabytes, they're on four forty five percent off on Amazon. Nice. Um it's getting it kind of heavy. So three hundred bucks. So, so I got could, two. I was planning on spending six hundred dollars on one drive. <laughs> I ended up getting two. I was like, "Oh, two. You know, it's like I have one brow. I cut it in half. I have two. <laughs> so you you couldn't hear any difference? No. On this, okay. All right. I mean, do you yeah, feel no. different though? Do you feel like the you know? I got a feel $7, like thing um, right here. You I feel could like a never person? afford something like this, and I think. These are products for people that are creating mm -hmm. um, a home theater that that is up to that like like it's like a two hundred thousand dollar home theater. Mm -hmm. You're making a two. You're you're putting together a two hundred thousand dollar home theater. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, it's all about it's all about proportions, <laughs> right? If you're gonna yeah. spend fourteen grand yeah. on a processor and its matching amplifier, mm -hmm. like. I mean, it's overkill for this room. I, I, I'm using it because it's it's going to help me, you know, mix and monitor in in my Atmos stuff, and you know, I'm 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 making sure to put objects in and sounds in the front wides, so I want to see what it sounds like in here. And somebody was, dude, all these front wide people. They're like, I was like, yeah, you're probably not going to hear a whole lot of difference uh, with front wides. Give it like three to five years, because someone actually has to place a sound in there because they're not. The front mm -hmm. wides are not considered the bed track in Atmos, mm -hmm. which is someone's like, oh, that's probably just because of logic. I was like, no, no, no. It's a limitation of Atmos, actually, because it's not considered a bed track, even though it's in a bed layer. Two different things. Watch my video about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they were so mad. I was just like, OK, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get I'm going to buy 50 of the fucking movies from 2022 and sit here with no speakers plugged in except the front wides and watch them all and I bet you anything, less than 5% of these movies are going to have any information in there. And people are like, no, no, I got them. They sound great. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so, I, I, so I'm going to test that? that. But like, dude, $14,000 can be spent in such a better way, Fred. Okay. <laughs> wow. Fred. All right. Just went straight for Fred already. Yeah. Wow. He commented, out, brother. he commented, his, his comment's pretty hilarious. But, <laughs> yeah. um, like uh yeah oh if i if i was gonna spend two hundred thousand dollars on a car i'm not gonna put mm -hmm. um i'm not gonna buy some wheels from tire rack and put them on there even though i bought hey, what's wrong snow, with tire rack i, I bought hey. snow tires and wheels from tire rack from, so you're saying you're not gonna put you're not gonna get like a your porsche and you're not gonna put some hand cooked mm -hmm. tires you're gonna I'm put not some, gonna put so i'm not some gonna put some michelin pilot super some, sports yeah, or something like, on there right <laughs> I'm gonna put some HRE uh, classic 305s on there in the, the you know the what is it the um, brushed aluminum finish, mm -hmm. but no I'm not I'm, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna spend like you know ten to fifteen thousand dollars on wheels for you're, a two hundred thousand dollar car. You're not gonna buy and used tires. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna no? you know so it's it's about a level it's about levels I think with with products like these like you know. You're gonna spend 14 grand on the pre pro and the amp, then mm -hmm. yeah. You want to spend 20 grand on the projector, Sony, JVC, go yeah, yeah. yes, yes, mm -hmm. right? Do that. You want to, you know, mix and match cheap things and expensive <clears throat> things. Uh, I, you know, I see. It all, I mean, you do, 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 do whatever, we say that, do whatever we say you that, want. but I've, I've seen plenty of guys that have 
huge amounts of money. They've been very successful. They build out an incredible home theater, but then they'll choose to make a choice. Like, uh, let's just say they use Emotiva amplifiers and people are like, that seems weird. Why didn't you go with yeah. a Trenov amplifier? Why didn't you go? And to them, they're looking at, I don't know if I would hear the value or the difference in that. So why would I spend more money on that? Sure. And so some people are like that, but then others are going to build this really cool home theater. And they're like, you know what? I've got all this money invested in it. Everything's really nice and high end. So I'm going to equally do that with my cables as well and buy some cool, fancy cables. And so everybody kind of, you know, you had to figure out what works best for you. But I think some people are okay with spending less, even though they got this really killer high end system. Yeah. Well, everybody spends their money differently, right? So even there, there could be some rich guy that would never treat you out to dinner. Yeah. It's like, true. And then you have a guy who's like barely makes it. And you know, absolutely. If you make friends with them, he's going to treat you out one day. And you you know, so it's just a different mindset. Mm -hmm. Uh, The other day I went to get, you guys are going to laugh at this. It's totally random. Actually. It actually has to do with your tire thing, John. I have to get, so I got all new (laughs) tires. For the van, right? Not please tell me not from Tyrac. Oh, you just no, got no. a sale, buddy. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> we got all new tires, right? And then on the phone, the guy's like, So do you want used tires or do you want new tires? I'm like, new Dude. tires, bro. Mm-hmm. Like all new tires. I don't know. But it m- made me remember that when I was younger, I couldn't really afford all new tires. Yeah. I would get the used tires. You know what I mean? So now I'm balling. I get new tires. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just kind of a weird thing. Did, have you guys ever gotten used tires? Have you no, ever I just, had to? I just, I'm balling, so no. I just buy a new vehicle. You just, <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I just need all, I got a flat, <laughs> give me a new car. No, I do not. Uh, Joe knows what I drive. I drive a Ford Explorer. So yeah. But I'm just saying, back in the day, I remember a time when I'd get, you know, had to get a new tire. I yeah. had to get, you know, $50 used tire. That's how it a was. A new tire. You know, yeah. I used so, to buy used tires. A a new tire. Yeah, you, know? you said get a new tire. Like, and until right. I got until later on in life, I got the the Beamer that mm-hmm. needed the run flats. And mm-hmm. they're like, yeah, you need a new tire. It's gonna be five hundred bucks. I'm like, what? Yeah, it gets expensive. Man. What are you talking about? That's crazy. Anyway. Now, if you'd like to join us in the after show, make sure to become a patron. It would be patreon.com slash daily hi fi, and you get to video chat, you know, kind of like this with us after the show. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out. <laughs>